Oh yeah, let's start the po- this is how we start the podcast. So you will flip the hourglass and then yes. the hour oh, it's begins. Like an hour. Yeah, it's a full on hour. Cool. Go for it, man. The ritual then. <laughs> That'll be the first time then. <laughs> well, all right. Well, thank you for doing this. Yeah, man. Of course. Thank you for inviting me. We have uh, Luis Perez. Yes, that's uh, my name. From uh, Brain Fragment. That's my bang. Well, not really my bang. Well, yeah, you I'm guys. In that yeah, and it started with you and Dave. Yeah. Right. And then, how long have you guys been doing it for? Uh, I think it's really hard to remember. Yeah. But I think it's like five or six years. Oh shit! Okay. I think That's... so because uh, I think we started. We were we were playing shows in 2015. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, we've been going on from there like at least a year before that. So yeah, probably like four or five years. Four or five years. Yeah, I remember. Um, so you know, Ismail, he and I disagree on some some of the local bands right and then like uh kathleen when she was in the band like we would all i'm sure i've told you the story for, for the people that don't know um we would usually she would like all the bands basically or most of the bands i would like maybe half of the bands right ismail would like 10 percent of the bands yeah. that were out there and then all three of us or sometimes if if a Ismael and I liked the band. Maybe Kathleen didn't really like him, you know, or something uh, okay. odd about him. I remember seeing Brain Fragment for the first time, and all three of us were like, holy fuck, like, fuck yes, these yeah. guys fucking rule. Well, was that at the airliner? That was at the airliner, was, yeah. Because I, yeah. I remember I met, Ismael was the one that that uh, that approached me, and yeah. you were right behind him. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think I remember him saying, I forgot what he told me, I, told him, I don't remember, but I for sure remember... Cause he had the maiden patches and all yeah. that. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, I think he said something about Satan Fest or something like that. Yeah. And oh, so yeah. That's and then that's when we guys show. got you guys onto Satan Fest. Yeah. Right. We guys got to bring you back. Did you guys do the last one? Last year's? I feel like. We did one of them in the did... Cafe Nella one. Yeah. Last yeah, the Cafe Nella. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. was last year. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we did bring you guys back. That's what I've been wanting to do. When was that? The first. That was well, Ju- June. First we did that. It's usually in June. June oh, the year. first one? The first one. Well, not the first one. The one we did with you guys when you guys used to have the old house. Yeah, that was maybe like... Fuck, that was the last one you guys did at that house, right? I think we did one more oh, okay. at that house. And then we did last year's. Yeah, so you guys were in 2016. 2016. 2016, okay. we did one more in 2017. And then, yeah, you guys came back for 2018. Um, shit, man. Well, tell me, uh, uh, where... Uh, uh, well, first, where did you drive from? Where did I drive from? Yeah. I live in La Puente, California, oh, which is, yeah. I said it was like 30 minutes from there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it's somewhere in the suburbs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the suburbs. And then doesn't Dave live like super far? Yeah, he lives, he used to live in Pomona. Uh-huh. When I met him, yeah. when we started jamming, he used to live in Pomona. So he lived closer, but then he moved to Rancho, so he moved farther. Oh, shit. Yeah, but we're, um, he knows so much, so many people out there. So we kind of we we used to play a lot over there. Over there, yeah. Yeah, okay. so that's how we got our name uh, known over there because we used to play like every weekend. Yeah, all the punk, and it's funny ah. because I'm not a punk man. Sure, yet. sure, sure. We have punk influences. Totally. But since we play so many punk shows, we kind of just got into that category. Right. So yeah. Not only that, but our mentality was punk. So I grew up punk. Uh, Dave grew up punk. We, yeah. me and Dave are. We're the same age, uh, 1988, and we're yeah. literally a week apart. He was born in June also. Wow. Yeah, so it's it it kind of funny. We were doing the same things as we were growing up, you know, listening to the similar bands, yeah, yeah, going yeah. to the same shows. Yeah, wow. Except he was living in the IE, and I was living in the SGV and stuff. And I know you guys, like, met on Craigslist, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, put a, I put a post. I was in this band called Quintusk. They're around again. I don't uh-huh. know if you heard of them. I actually have. It does sound familiar. I think I've seen a show. I was invited on Facebook, and there okay. was like someone someone is playing with Queen Tusk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. That was a band I had with some guy named Chris Penalber. Uh-huh. I don't know if you know him. He no. does a lot of like bookings and stuff. He's an older dude. He's cool. Um, I had a band with him. He used to do art shows in La Puente because he lives there too. Mm-hmm. And he used to put that together. So we became friends, and we started, we started pretty much partying you know like it was pretty much partying <laughs> with the whole city yeah so it was cool oh that's uh, right ev- eventually uh 
it was a two piece too. It was guitar and drums. But eventually, I just, I don't know. I just didn't feel it anymore. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know how it is with you and music, but eventually, there's a time where I just get tired and, or I just don't want to do it. It's just I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't feel right. So sure. I, just, I had to stop. Ross, what's the point? You know. Yeah. Totally. Well, so, were you writing the music, or or is somebody else writing the music? He had music written, and I would just play to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a little different when that. Yeah. I feel like usually most of the bands I'm in, I'm like writing the music. So. Usually, I tend to. Kind of like you know how we all because in Brain Fire we all write music. Yeah. But, but I tend to be the guy that says, "Do this." Oh uh, yeah, oh, I like what you're doing there. Yeah, let's fuck with that, you know. And yeah, let's put that with something. So I'm the guy that put stuff together. I mean, right, we all do that, but I sure, just, sure, sure. I'm the fucking you're kind of that main person that yeah. does it. Yeah, because I mean, oh, I, I write music too. Like I play guitar and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. um, for this band, it's it's more like everybody's bringing their creativeness. Yeah. So I just want to hear what they're playing, and then just kind of go off of what they're doing, and then yeah. just go from there. That's cool, man. It's it's so crazy. I was actually I saw Dave at a Tenacious D concert. Oh, you went to yeah, too? yeah, yeah, yeah. We totally. Uh, I saw him. I, I he posted about it, and then I so I was like looking out for him, and uh, we caught up with each other on, uh, uh, in the line, and uh, I, I I was telling him I can't believe it. Like I love experimental music, right. like Mr. Bungle and like Mike Patton and all that okay. stuff, and I couldn't like believe that that <laughs> was like not your guys's influence at, at all. all yeah like at all <laughs> you guys are like for me i think like the like kind of experimental band in the la scene the right LA now scene. and like you guys are like yeah no idea who these guys are sure, don't listen to it like you guys are just straight like punk guys but that says something it comes from like a genuine place uh right i think where it uh, all com- the all mentality comes well i mean the way i mean when i was a kid mm-hmm. for me punk was what people think is now where it's like, this is how you have to play punk. Yeah. Fast, aggressive politics, yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. funny and drunks, right. whatever, you know? Right. Um, which is, dude, I grew up with that. I'm pretty sure you did yeah, too. Yeah, sure. Uh, but the thing that I loved about punk was that it wasn't that what people are saying now. Punk was more like, let's do something that some, someone's not doing. Yeah. And it's called punk because we don't give a fuck. You know? Right, and, right, and that's right. That's what I love because if you hear all those bands from back in the day, none of them sounded the same. Yeah, they were fast and aggressive, but sure. they all had their weird style where it was just like, what the hell? Like Black Flag will have, what's his name? Um, What's his name? The guitarist? I totally forgot. I Jin, something know. Jin. He would fucking play Terrible those shitty ass solos. Like, yeah. <laughs> on purpose, you know? Cause yeah, he that. yeah, yeah, because it was different. Yeah, and then yeah. you had Bad Brains actually knew how to play. And they were badass because they were fast right and and they were like bringing some weird ass sounds to it so i was like that was cool but then like i was somewhere in like the 90s or something it all just became the same it all became the same and yeah. then punk became like a genre and then exactly. it all had a sound like that exactly a bit yeah no i know so I, the, I think the mentality of that when we were kids i i grew out of that and i think i just like the mentality of just being like oh we want to create something new right no, that, that's funny. That's always, that was kind of, uh, I was in a band called Dr. Caligari with my cousins oh. in San Dimas. Oh, so I know some of the people like from like the Pomona area and all this stuff. Oh. They're all into like rock and roll and, oh, and crazy. It's great. It's great over there. And I want to play more shows out there. But it was funny because like my, uh, my cousin who was the singer, like we'd, uh, my, so there was four, four cousins. There was me and three other boys. And, uh, and then. We had the singer, and I was the guitarist and bassist, and then the other guitarist and bassist. We you know we would switch whenever one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would write a song on guitar, he would write it, and then he would play it on bass, and then vice versa. And so we were like the main uh, uh, music writers, composers. Nice. And so our our Daniel, the uh, singer, he would always like like be upset if we wrote something that sounded like anything else. He's like, yeah, that sounds like this song, and oh. he was like a master, like he knew everything yeah, about really. music. You know, he was one of those guys. So he's like, no, that sounds like this song, trash it, let's do something else. So it was like a true practice on trying to come up with like original weird that's songs, hard, you know? Dude, that's yeah. really hard. Because I know what you mean. Because yeah. there is shit that I write and it's just like, man, this sounds like this. Yeah, exactly. But you know, I, I, just, I, I just thought about it. I'm like, you know what? It does sound like it, but I could just tweak it. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's what I've started to do now. It's just, it's simpler because like it just seemed... Writing at the moment seems right. Yeah. So why change it? 
yeah, I feel yeah. like I, my, you know, my theory of music is no matter how shitty it sounds, you can always make it sound cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's my mentality for my solos. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm like, I'm like trying. It's funny because uh, I've been telling people that I, I'm like, I want to take more guitar lessons. I feel like I can like up my game a bit. Right. And everyone's like, no, like you have this special quality. Like you don't know how, like you don't know how to play guitar. And that's what makes it cool. And yeah. like, you might lose that sort of like mystery behind it. So I don't know, but I'd love to just, I don't know play some crazy crazier solos and what i'm playing what you yeah. yeah don't you mean because eventually you feel like you're just playing the same thing yeah over over. yeah but to other people obviously you're not but right to you you're like this is just my style and i'm just getting tired of it yeah so you that's how i my drumming like everybody tells me the same thing because there's times where like i want to get better yeah but then there's times where i don't give a fuck you know like <laughs> I just don't want to do it. I hate school. I was horrible at school. Yeah. I hate learning. Yeah. I hate sitting there for hours and practicing one thing. Yeah. It fucking bothers me. If I do that, I'm not going to want to play that anymore, you know? No, I hear you. Yeah, so like, um, I think I like what I have, but then I know if I would, like you said, if I would get down and learn right. or something like that, I probably would be a 10 times better. But yeah. That, that would be for my own fucking, you know, my no, own. No, I know what you mean. But it's great because I remember talking to you guys. You guys, like, always play shows. So it's like, that's kind of your practice. Exactly. You guys we are always we playing. Really practice. When we practice, we write music. Yeah. So, uh, like you said, uh, our shows are a practice. But we get better at it. So, I guess it's a two two thing. Like, you know, we, we get lucky. We, we get yeah. to practice and we get to play a live show. Yeah. So, I don't know what works out, I guess. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, no. And then you guys brought uh, Ashley yeah. into the band. How'd you meet her? So, Ashley's a barber. I don't know if she... I know she didn't want people to know that, but I already said that in another <laughs> podcast, so... <laughs> people should know if, he, if they heard it. Uh, yeah, she cuts hair, and um, my stepbrother... Not really my stepbrother, but like I say that because my dad's dating his mom. They've been together for a while. Got it, yeah. So it's sure, sure, sure. So it's easier like to my, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been like yeah, my childhood was... friend, so... Yeah. Um, he, he, he went to school to become a barber and then he ended up working with her at a barber shop and they became friends and then uh he started bringing her along with our group and then i didn't know she was a singer until she would started coming to our shows because she knew that we had a band mm -hmm. and she started going to bring friends shows and she started liking it like a lot because she would go like almost all of them yeah and then i think there's one time we were hanging out in front of my house or around the area and my stepbrother brought a guitar and he started playing and then Ashley started kind of like humming melodies. Mm -hmm. And from there, I'm like, the hell, I don't know, you can sing, you know? <laughs> so I told him, man, you can sing. He's like, well, I haven't, I've never sang in a band, but uh, I've been singing just on my own. Yeah. I'm like, dude, we should get together. Damn, and, no way. Yeah. I'm like, Fire. we should get together and like uh, play some music. Um, she's on down. So I, I have, uh, we started this side acoustic two piece. Where I wrote some music, and then she had some lyrics, so she put it into the music. And yeah. we wrote, I think, about five songs. And they turned out to be pretty decent, and I found out she could sing. Yeah. And then um, as that progressed, and she kept coming to the shows, uh, this one time at the Doll Hut, uh, uh, you played Doll Hut, right? Yeah. You know how... We played, actually, yeah, that's together right. we played at together. the Doll Hut. Yeah. That's right. Uh, that place is always fucking dead. There's nobody <laughs> there. It's really hard to get people yeah. there. Yeah. And the people that do uh, go, yeah. when it gets packed, it's like for bands, like bigger bands, like no, Rattle right. Lessons. Yeah, and I was going like to say, that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the only band I could think of was Rattle Lessons. Yeah. It was like the only band that plays there where people actually show up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or like, uh, I think last time I played with Guttermouth, they got pretty packed. Oh, I haven't even heard of gutter, Guttermouth. But... No, never heard of one before? Mm -hmm. They came with like Tony Hawk and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no idea maybe i wasn't i you know what i'm actually thinking about getting video games everyone i fucking i had this weird mentality that like if i, I i'm not gonna get video games as a kid because it'll like uh, dissuade me from like playing guitar or Wait, something this, you thought this was your kid when i was a kid yes that is so, so mature so thinking. i never I, I was too mature as a kid <laughs> so i I didn't start having fun until I was in my mid twenties. Wow, for really? Real. That, really that, that yeah, was that uptight. Yeah, no, 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 it was ridiculous. Well, I still sort of am. 
Uh, <laughs> no, and then like everyone I know fucking plays video games, and like uh, Aladio, who's in our who was in Twisted Black Soul, is one of the greatest guitarists I know, and like plays video games like nothing. And I'm like, well, really didn't mean anything. I could have been playing video games all day. So I think that Spider Man game and that Red Dead Redemption Two game looks so good. Oh. And I watch like video gameplay on YouTube, like a huge nerd. I'm like, what, what the fuck am I it's doing? Weird. And I can afford it. I can just like. Buy a console and play some games. Why not? So I'm gonna start doing I, I, that. I feel you on that. I've, I'm just I'm not. I like games, but yeah. I get bored of them. Oh, really? Pretty quickly. It sounds like you get bored with a lot of things. Man. I get bored. <laughs> That's the reason why I think the brain fragments so uh, different all the time because yeah, I can't play the same fucking shit. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Can, um, You'll get bored. Yeah, it's weird. No, it's true. So do you guys like once once you guys write? New songs, it's like the old collection, it's done? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like, it's funny, because <laughs> we write a song, mm. and it's the shittiest version of that song. Right. It's, it's, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Of course, it's always the shittiest version of, once you write exactly. it. Yeah, yeah, So we write the shittiest version of the song, but once we finish that, uh-huh. once we, we already have, like, I guess you can say we, we pretty much write the root of the song. Right. Once we finish that, we just right away start playing it live. <laughs> because we want to learn the mistakes already yeah and, and just get used to that you know cool because then like we'll play and be like fuck i fucked up here in my head mm-hmm. so next time i know and i won't do that again i'll probably try something else Damn. and then as time progresses yeah maybe a few months later that song will probably be badass yeah. by then. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah yeah totally so that's like to me that's perfect because i hate practicing like i said that and, yeah and and that just you know we're playing that live so it just it's improving as we right play live and right stuff. and it, it kind of adds an extra pressure or it would for me like if it was like <laughs> we just wrote the bare bones of the song and then playing it live like holy fuck yeah dude uh that sounds that's sounds a little nerve-wracking I, but exciting Ashley was having a lot of trouble when she started in the band with us yeah because she 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 has music her approach to music's like she like she learned music you know she was she was like she learned by herself. She's a nerd. Just kidding. No, <laughs> she, yeah. She, she's, in a way, she's kind of nerdy with the music. Yeah. But she likes to, um, I guess, do it right, you know? Because she never... No, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And me and Dave grew up just... When you're in a punk band, it doesn't matter how oh, shitty no, it sounds. Exactly. Actually, the more shitty it sounds better. I yeah, guess, you know? yeah, exactly. So we take that approach, and she's just like, <laughs> what? what? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll be like, all right, we'll play this today, and she'll be like... I don't. I don't have anything to. Yeah. I'm like, well, I don't know. Fucking do something, you know? Because <laughs> I don't. We don't tell her what to do. We yeah. just say, do whatever you want. Yeah. Do meditate wherever you want. Dude, you figure it out. And it <laughs> works. Yeah. She really works with you guys. It's it's insane. When I saw her perform with you guys, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Her works voice so is out of crazy, out, out of control. Yeah. I mean, she. It's and it's cool because she kind of feels that guitar part. The you know those high parts it was perfect. Getting the female and one that can with her range and everything. Oh. Yeah, works out so well with you guys yeah. god damn and then you guys had that like random guitarist who would like play some shit with you guys uh, so uh we we did this thing we kind of still do but we don't really say it much but um we like to have random guests yeah we really like the fucking like um how do you say it like uh something out of nowhere you know it, oh yeah you know we, we, we wouldn't mind trying something if someone would come with a fucking cello and be like can i play with you guys yeah fuck yeah, come yeah, yeah, play yeah, with yeah. Us, you know but because the thing is the band is so like it's a jam band i mean you heard us before sure so there's a lot of jamming involved playing live so yeah do, you, do you have i remember i i've been listening to you guys a lot on spotify there's like jam out and jamming <laughs> right? it's like it's names like, of your songs not even a song it's just, <laughs> it's just play dude <laughs> But yeah, we fucking, um, the thing about that is we try to, the first album, we try to do like a whole, like, kind of how we do live, how we just start and don't stop. Oh, you yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the first album, we try to do that, but it just didn't come out right. Yeah. You know, just, I mean. Is guy, that on Spotify? You guys have two things on Spotify, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the Spotify. Yeah, they're both on there. The first yeah. one was LSD. LSD is good for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's why the whole jam in and jam out like mm-hmm. sounds kind of weird. It doesn't sound like it goes with it, because uh, our intention was to kind of blend in the jam in to the first song, I see. and then jam out the last song to kind of so blend in. Got it. But he didn't. He didn't do that. You know, it was like a <laughs> change the track, and that's kind of <laughs> yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah. So it just kind of like ruined the feel of it. I see. But I mean, 
you know, it is what it is. Uh, that first album, me and Dave, we never really liked it, but a lot of people liked it, so whatever. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> Shit happens. I mean, like, Iron Maiden, uh, the Steve Harris hates this, the first album. He yeah. Until this day, but a lot of people love that fucking oh, album. Yeah, and that that's always great. interesting how that happens. Yeah. Um, any artist, any, not just music, uh, I'm tr- like, there's so many directors who I studied who, like, just weren't happy with their with their film or like even George Lucas who had to go back and like you know with oh, the, update right. his like fucking 1970s movie because like it didn't look like the way that he had envisioned it back yeah. in the 70s and it's like no what are you doing like <laughs> we we like we like that version of it um so no it's cool that it makes it less less boring do you have a do you have a girlfriend? I don't want to get too personal, but you like, as personal as you want. I don't care. I'll tell no, I mean, you want. I mean, like, geez, like, how bored do you get? Like, when you're with a with a lady, and then you're just like, I'm bored. Next one. Nah. See, okay, so like with that, um, I was in a relationship. I had like a high school sweetheart. I was with for like eight years. Oh snap! Yeah. And so yeah. Uh, I think right out of high school, um, I think I was about. I think I was like 21 or 22. She was younger than me. She was like mm-hmm. three years younger than me. Mm-hmm. So she wasn't even 21 yet. But we were together for so long. You know, I don't know if you've ever been in a long relationship, but... No. It kind of just dies out, you know? Yeah. But at the time, I was so like... I didn't know that, you know? I thought it was just kind of be like, oh, I'm going to be with this chick forever. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm going to marry this chick. I thought you know? the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have kids and, you know, all this is... I'm cool with the family and all yeah. everybody. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and then some an old an old friend came along and like fucking um started hanging out and then they started talking yeah you know you know that goes they ended up hooking up and then we ended up splitting up and that kind of messed me up yeah so I I literally just didn't care anymore I didn't want to be in another relationship I didn't want to deal with any sort of relationship so I just didn't even care about it after that I just pursued of drumming and playing music and that's when I kind of strive more into just play more shows Fuck like yeah. my main thing was to travel i wanted to get out of the fucking city oh really music yeah so oh to travel with like yeah to yeah, travel with the, with the band, band yeah because that's always been like a thing yeah i want to do i mean everybody fucking does it if you have a band i mean that's like for me that would be like the main thing you we know? haven't done that yet i yeah I, no that should spread be the main thing shit. and we want to you want to spread that man. no i know <laughs> but it, i mean it's it's not easy but if you if you guys pair your shit together yeah. and like you know you can do like we we didn't we don't we don't when we tour we don't tour big ass tours dude. sure and i know bands that do that where they quit all their fucking all their uh jobs yeah and they literally like live on the road like they they whatever money little money they make on on a show if they make money right they'll just use that to go to the next fucking yeah, place yeah, and if yeah. they get stuck somewhere they'll just try to make money just to get out of that place right. and go somewhere else which is fucking crazy, you Fuck, know? I'm down for that, that actually. Cool, right? that sounds, yeah, that sounds real cool. Um, but but uh, we, we would do, like, up north tours and shit, like, real quick, like, uh, to San Francisco. We did, like, a weekend thing, you know? Um, we would go... The longest one we did was... Uh, we went to New Mexico, Denver, and all that. You went to New Mexico? Yeah, we played a show in New Mexico. What? When? I remember the San Francisco stuff, but when did you go to New Mexico? This was before Ashley joined the band. Oh, wow. So it was okay. like literally, after we came back from that tour, that's when Ashley kind of joined the band. Okay, I see. So oh, so the, right around there. Yeah, so it was like I the last show that. that me and Dave played as a... Solo, Oh, yeah. as the last tour, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or and solo, then, I mean, yeah. Yeah. As a duo. Duo, yeah. Uh, that's called... What is that called? Uh, I can't remember, but anyways. The, duet. Duet. Oh, duet, yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, <laughs> I forget terms. Yeah, no, no, no. I just, I remembered it was so quaint because uh, uh, Gino John Zorn... Yeah. Oh, John Zorn. You, okay. You me that yes, you John me. John Zorn. Because I couldn't believe you guys never heard of John Zorn. <laughs> yeah, dude. John Zorn. Uh, he played live with uh, Dave Lombardo from Slayer, nice. and so and it said like you know Dave Lombardo John Zorn duet. I was like, oh yeah, I guess it is a duet because it was like sax and, and drums, and they're That's just like, awesome. it was, Fuck, it was yeah. fucking awesome. But they have that. Like, this a CD, or is it just, like, a live thing? No. Oh, it was, it was just a special thing. He was doing um, a bunch of his songs. He was, like, 40 years... I'm pointing oh, so behind me because... Yeah, it was, like, a... It was kind of like a concert. It was a celebration of his life, uh, of his music of 40 years at LACMA. So oh. you would go to the museum, and in different rooms, different musicians would play his shit. Uh, his shit. Yeah, cool. all everything that he wrote. How do you play his shit? Well, the, 
<laughs> it's right. all written. Like, it, oh, yeah, people would shit. actually like like read it, or they would like study it, or they were they were those musicians on the albums, and so they would like they play it, it for the yeah. audience. You know, That's so awesome. I remember there was this one guy who played like this really old instrument. It was like it was like a guitar. It was like a sitar, but like even older than that. Right. And they were like in the Egyptian room, and then he played like a piece. And then we're like, all right, let's move on to the next room. And then and then we were in the Jackson Pollock room. Actually, and that's where Dave Lombardo and uh, John Zorn did a that's duet. Awesome. Yeah, so it was like different rooms for different musicians. John Zorn only played like a couple times in different rooms. It was, it was amazing. That sounds amazing. Yeah, as fuck. it was, it was crazy. Um, damn, where, uh, what, what, where's next for you guys' tour? Like, where do you guys want to go to? Anything yeah, lined up or anything? Well, next year. Well, it is already next year. Um, this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Because I've been saying to that used for to, a while. Yeah. Um, this year. We have a uh, Kansas City Noise Fest, so we're going to Kansas. What? Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure when. You guys flying we're, out there? Or you guys driving? Yeah, we're, well, we're going to drive. So our, our our goal is to drive and book shows on the way. Nice. And maybe Good. on the way back. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. like a tour. Fuck yeah. So like a legit that's tour. The, yeah, that's the main thing. I know for sure uh, we have in February, we have a show in the desert in Arizona. Mm-hmm. We're going there, and then we have a show That's in cool. Yuma, Arizona. So yeah. we're there, and I think we might try to get a Vegas show, just Heck yeah. or maybe a Utah show. Might as well. Yeah, a Double so Down Saloon. Like you guys play there. Right? Yeah, a Double yeah. Down Saloon. Yeah, that place yeah. is cool. They give you so much beer tickets. Yeah, they it's do. Awesome. It's so cool. But yeah, like you don't use them because there's so much, dude. <laughs> I still have some at home. And everything, everything is. It's not even just beer tickets. I think because like right, chips? everything there is just um, five dollars. Or we went. On it's a cheap. special day where like every like any drink, beer, whiskey, whatever you want, every drink is five bucks. So whiskey? you had like ten Two? to every drink, any drink. When we went there, That's it must have been a special. You know what I noticed? Something. Vegas is so cheap with their alcohol. Yeah. Oh yeah. They don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they make all their money on this yeah. fucking, uh, fucking Utah, gambling to, addicts. We played in Utah mm-hmm. um, when we did the whole Denver tour. Yeah. And we found out that the beer there. They, they lower down the alcohol percentage. Right, because so, of so, yeah, the altitude or something? Uh, I don't know. I think because it's like a Mormon state. like Oh, in Utah. I'm yeah. thinking of Denver. Oh, dude, Denver. Yeah. Denver, they up the alcohol. I think Denver, they put it down a little bit for that same reason. Oh, okay. Because I know Dave got fucked up. <laughs> he got really trashed. And he, yeah. he stopped drinking for the rest of the tour because of that. Because oh, he was all hungover. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. Shit. shit. Oh, but that's how it is in Utah. They but they lower it because I, I think it's, it's a because Mormon, of the whole state. Mormon thing. Mm. Because I remember once I went to Georgetown, which is like the the town right once you like leave Vegas and keep going up north a yeah. little bit. The first uh, town you hit of Utah is Georgetown. Uh-huh. I think something like that. And dude, we got there at nine. We went to the gas. It was dead. The whole yeah. fucking city. Everybody was inside the fucking house. We went to the gas station. We're like, hey, uh, is there any bars or anything? And the guy just went. <laughs> No, <laughs> and then we're and then and he's like, and if there was, it'll be closed. Everything closes at nine here. Jesus Christ! I'm like, Are you serious? You guys don't have anything? Yeah. He's like, nah. Everybody's everybody's already at home. Yeah. We don't go to sleep. Lame. I'm like, damn. Going sucks. to sleep at nine? Fuck, <laughs> gross. I don't even go to sleep. I go to sleep at like one on a work night. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine going. But to yeah, sleep dude. At nine. Uh, everybody. I always tell these this to people because they, every, someone told us this. If you go to Utah, if you tour in Utah, you have a show out there. Mm-hmm. They say that if you want to make money, take buy a thirty pack of Pabs of here what? or somewhere else, right? A thirty pack of what? Pabs, peanut oh. butter, or any beer, I guess. I got it. Everybody yeah, loves yeah. Pabs over there, yeah. Especially yeah, yeah, yeah. Pabs, you know? I see. And um, sell it to the kids for a dollar, and they'll buy it. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking. That'll hilarious. be our way out of Utah. <laughs> yeah. If we get stuck. Just get cases of <laughs> cases of of that. Um, or like PBR or something, yeah. Is that Paps? Pab? Yeah, Paps? Paps? P- I call it PBR. PBR, yeah. It's PBR, easy to Paps, say. Rizbin. Paps. Yeah. Um, well, shit, man. Uh, how long have you been playing drums? Mm, that's also very fuzzy for me. <laughs> um, I, I always tell people this, and I'm going to stick with this because I've been saying this since. Yeah. I started playing drums when I was 15. Might have been before that, but... Yeah. Don't remember. I'm 30 now, so it's been like 15 years. 15 ago? years, damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, 88. That was 2018 last year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday. Yeah, June. Didn't I see you around your birthday? I think we played a show. At, at the 
Yeah, we did at the at the house uh, out there. Um, what the fuck is that oh, house called? Fuck, um, the void. The the void. That's yeah, right, that's we right. played a show there. there, and you guys were there. It was like your birthday show. Yeah, my right. my my cousins came out for that. That was cool. Oh really? Them, yeah, my cousin and my aunt because they live in the San right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that's my connection over there. They came out. Is that how you guys know Harriers? No, because well, I know they're. From you know the how bird. we know. You know how we know Harriers. How? When we played at the down the the the. The double down. The double down in, in, Las, in, Vegas? in Las Vegas. Yeah, it that was crazy. Awesome. It was crazy. We had no idea that they were. Lo- well, it was funny because we we went to Vegas. We're like, fuck yeah, we get to meet all these like Wait, local. So you guys have gone out of the state. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We we did Vegas once. Uh, well, we want to do more. You know, it was, right. it was great. I mean, it was a terrible show, but. <laughs> But it was great going there and the experience and everything like yeah. that. There's a reason why it was a terrible show. We learned our lesson the hard way. Um, uh, can you say that? What? What's that? Can you say that story? No, sure. It was so stupid just because we like, well, <laughs> we're fucking morons. We were like, we thought that we could like just, we, we had one night there and then we were like, we were just so like, I think it was, we were playing on a Saturday night and, uh. Uh, I think it was, I don't know what happened, but we were like, fuck it, let's just go there, let's just drive there and just like hang out. We drove there really late, we didn't have a place to stay, we just kind of like stayed up all night and shit, we were gonna wait until like 12 o'clock to get our, to get our like, you know, place, it was was stupid, we were like, oh, let's like hang out there and drink, no, and like we were just like waiting until 12 o'clock and we, we were like, none of us had been able to sleep, and it was like, 11 a.m. and we're just waiting outside the house until we can actually go into this place and it's like 110 degrees uh, where this is like august in vegas oh shit. and like and you know and and so the drums are all being warped you know of course because yeah. it's, it's all the sun and so by the time we get to play the show that night like all the drums are just out of tune you know it, it, it was it was so, so bad it was just like a bad sounding it was just a bad sounding yeah drum set and we were all fucking tired from the night before we barely got any sleep it, over it we're so over it and then we didn't go oh we were supposed to go on like at 12 we didn't go on until four you know because it doesn't close down oh, right. you know so there were people there yeah, but still it starts late right it, it's, like at 10 it starts at like 10 yeah yeah motherfuckers party a lot, <laughs> yeah so we were like the last band nobody stuck around um i have a funny story for that yeah uh, um, we when we play at the double down, like I said, you know they give us a bunch of free yeah. beer tickets, yeah. so we're pounding, getting fucked up. <laughs> we we rented a van with this. Do you know Rock and Roll Suicides? The band. It sounds very familiar. Yeah. Uh, okay, we toured with that was the we toured with them. Um, we toured with them and the and we we rented a band. We all went together, you know. Yeah. And you know Kirby, right? Kirby came. Uh, Kirby. The guy that takes pictures, chunky guy with glasses. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he went with us too. He he was he was. He was supposed like to be the taking pictures. Photographer, and, yeah. But he followed us on his motorcycle the whole way. And this is when we went to San Francisco. We went to Oregon. We went to fucking Seattle. And then we came back to Las Vegas. <laughs> and that motherfucker. And so it was funny because he it was like a brand new a brand new bike. He literally got it like a month before we left the uh-huh. tour. And then so he pretty much followed us the whole way. But he will ride his bike, get to the show, and just be so tired that he would just knock the fuck out. <laughs> Throughout the show, so we had a we had, we, Rock and Roll Suicides. He has a younger brother. Yeah, he's not in the band, but he used to be the roadie. Mm-hmm. He ended up taking pictures and oh my doing god, all the yeah, filming. oh my like, god. So, anyways, we, so we get to Vegas and we're all fucked up. And Kirby's sleeping, but he's also drinking, so he's getting fucked up. Yeah, and he gets wasted, and just like. He was supposed to be our DD driver that day because he wasn't driving his bike because we uh-huh. all went together. Yeah. So he wasn't going to drive. God damn. And everybody else got wasted. So I'm like, all right, I'll drive. But I was wasted too. Yeah. So we get out of there. And when we get out of there, you're only supposed to make a left. And I don't know that because it's just a one way street. Yeah. I make a right. Oh, right. No. And I'm driving and I just see like fucking headlights coming towards us. Uh, and everybody's like, dude, you're going <laughs> the fucking wrong way. Stop. And oh, I'm like, no. oh, chill out, guys. And I just like, do a U-turn yeah. and just turn around and just go back. And they're like, dude, what the fuck? We almost died. <laughs> I'm like, dude, we're cool. Don't trip. Dude, we're cool, man. We're cool, man. Were, were you like that cool the whole time? Or inside were you like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck? No, I was just, oh, you were totally I was cool. just okay. nonchalant. Oh, I was funny. just like, because they were, <laughs> Whatever, freak, they were freaking c- out. And I was just like, yeah. I'm like, I know I'm, I'm, like, I know I'm fucking cool. up. I'm just going to turn awesome. around. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah, turn yeah. around. But they're all Ain't no thing. They always, they always tell that story. That's and, funny. It's fucking hilarious. That's great. 
Yeah, that's happened to me once or twice, especially in Long Beach when I was driving. There's those one-way streets you got to watch out for. Mm-hmm. No, but back to uh, 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 the Double Down Saloon, we were all excited when we were going to go play there. We were all excited to see like local Las Vegas bands oh. and make connection and everything. Everyone there was from Los Angeles. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. And then, well, Harry's a Discord. Uh, uh, they're from, I think they're originally from Vegas, but they were living in. Oh. In Pomona, oh, okay, for a while, sense. but I think they're yeah they they were like born and raised there. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I well, think so. Yeah, because I know now they're like in North Carolina. North Carolina, yeah, that I sounds that sounds right. But I think they might come back or something. They would what? travel everywhere. I don't yeah. know. That'd be cool. I really like those guys. They're they really, cool. Honestly, I think that's one of my favorite local bands. Yeah, like a really good like. They're real good. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not <laughs> like it's it's. It's not like your typical surf punk band, but it kind of is. Yeah. But I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's just really good. They just have it. They just have whatever that quality is. I, I, I dig them a lot. And uh, I, I got to see their uh, final show, hopefully not so final show. Oh, at the characters? At, at, at characters, yeah, in Pomona. That was awesome. And I was high out of my mind. Oh, yeah. I took one of those. It wasn't like I got, like, I smoked oh, weed. It was one of those edibles, those, like, small fucking. <laughs> Super potent things. Motherfuckers, fuck you. I was man. so high. I was <laughs> so stoned. But it was great seeing them. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Amy, is that her name, right? Amy, yeah. Dude, she's, oh my God. She's yeah. amazing. She's, yeah. I thought she, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was uh, Dwayne that was doing the solos. But then when I saw him, like, yeah, crap. that's her. She sings, she does the solos. I'm pretty yeah. sure she likes the music, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she does. And it, and it's cool because Creased, the drummer. Creased, yeah. Um, he has a weird style. Playing. Yeah, because he's left-handed, but he plays like he right-handed plays drums, he and he plays, plays across. Cross, yeah. yeah, very interesting style. And yeah, they do some weird... Yeah, it, that band just works. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's great. There are bands just like yours, too, Like where I like want to... I'm like, man, I want to join that band or something. Like When I know I really like a band, it's like, oh, I want to like play. You should, you should play with play. us live one day. That'd be fun. I don't know what I'd do, though. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Let's play whatever... Because... Well, that's funny that you, I forgot to talk about Chad that you brought up. Uh, that guitar player, Chad. Uh, oh, yeah. He's in this band called uh, Squirrel Spam. I don't Squirrel know if you ever seen Squirrel Spam, okay. no. I've never heard of it. Dude, this band is the weirdest fucking, <laughs> but they're fucking dope. They're like. Yeah, this. if they're anything like him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly what it is. It's pretty much like, uh, they were listening to No Wave, like mm-hmm. uh, James Chance and the Contortions. Or oh, like, no. Okay. There was like a, this scene in, in, I think it was like the late 80s in New York, mm-hmm. where they, they they didn't like punk because they said that they thought that punk was going to be this new genre where like it's going to blow everybody's mind. It's going to be completely new. Yeah. But then when they heard it, they pretty much said like, it's pretty much blues chords, just played double, but, you know, yeah, really yeah, fast. Yeah, just fast, yeah. So she's like, they literally just made it simpler to play that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So what they wanted to do is like, fuck it, we'll just make our own music that's new. And yeah. they literally play their instruments wrong on purpose so they can make this weird ass <laughs> sound. Check it out, dude. James Contortions, like, yeah, it sounds cool, but it it's got the, a lot of that fucking right, you know, shit like that. Yeah, and the drumming is like keeping its own beat, like it's not really going with it. So right. it's it's awesome, and that's a big influence on me. And was well, mostly on Dave because Dave's the one that that taught me. No wave. He's the one that showed me all that. No wave. And it, yeah, no it's wave. It's called no wave. Yeah, the that's genre. funny. And it, it was only like from like the late eighties to like maybe like early nineties. Yeah. Even, maybe like two years. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I think um, did you do you ever listen to what the fuck's the name of that band? I'm gonna right. close this door. It's fucking cold. Oh yeah, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, what band? Um, they're like a pretty big band, but like a weird band too. Uh, I'm not gonna remember right now. I'm probably. There's um. It's funny. It kind of reminds me of Kraftwerk. Have you heard of Kraftwerk? No, I don't think so. They're like these five guys. They're kind of like. They they wanted to like. Sonic Youth. I'm sorry. Oh, Sonic, Sonic Youth. Youth. Oh, what about Sonic, Sonic Youth? Yeah. Was a big. Uh, they they were influenced by No Way. So that's that makes they, that's a why lot they of sense. Sound a little weird sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. I try to get into Sonic Youth. There are a couple songs I was into, but I, I don't I like them. Really... There's some songs that are cool. Yeah, but I yeah, don't yeah. Like it either. Yeah, I wasn't a big. Yeah, and I, I wanted to like them because everyone was like, "Oh, if you like this stuff, you should like Sonic Youth." And then it just wasn't my thing. Yeah. Was... Um, no, the Kraftwerk is an interesting band. They're like uh, like these five guys, and they're like the anti-rock band. 
Yeah. Okay. Like they play all their songs like on like these like weird recorder things, so it's all like kind of like kind of like Devo sounding, kind of like keyboard things, mm, okay. and they take out all the emotion <laughs> out of like songs, and they're like they're just like on stage and they're just like trying to be robots, just like completely oh, anti like the opposite cool. of like rock and roll which is very passionate you know and like all that sort of stuff it just the exact opposite like i love <laughs> shit like that not really my what, cup of tea it called? craft work craft i want to say yeah with the k craft work okay. so weird craft work this is great for all the people listening i'm uh googling it <laughs> yeah these guys they kind of have this aesthetic craft work oh, yeah it's like super weird <laughs> i don't know if i can play this uh, uh but you can at least see like a the fuck oh there's a disney i was like what the fuck is this she made a video of disneyland yeah i was like what but anyways i won't play it but you can get an idea of uh the fuck the fu- oh, like, there we go oh, sick yeah it's just these guys yeah they're Wait, just so, like so they're old school yeah they're old school well, not super old. I think they're like late eighties, early nineties. That's why. That's why it reminded me. See, they're just like have no emotions on their face <laughs> oh or God. anything, and they're playing all these like songs. I've seen other the other ones where they have it like they have like a pocket like like keyboard. You know, like they're just like doing. It's like in their. It's like handheld. This yeah. is actually a lot for them. This I guess this was older. Oh, okay. Where they actually have the songs. Yeah, it's. it's is it so just instrumental weird. or are they singing and stuff? Uh, I think they sing too oh, okay. as well. That's funny, dude. Yeah, see, no emotion in their oh, faces or anything. Out, like, just out of the way home. Exactly. Opposite. It. Yeah, pretty interesting. I don't know. Interesting band. Interesting bands, man. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what's next for Brain Fragment? Any, any? Um... We are working on a new album right now. We have a, a keyboard player that's joined us. What? Yeah. So he's no uh, he's played random shows with us, but just like random. And um, he uh. We're working on this new album, and so hopefully that it's gonna take a while, but that's the process. Um, we just recently came out with an EP yeah. on this one. Yeah. So uh, that's we're just kind of that promoting cool. that right now. Yeah. And I think we're gonna we're gonna do the fungus again, but acoustic. Oh really? Yeah, because uh, Dave wants to try to get into Tiny Desk. What's that? And, you know that. Uh, it's like a YouTube channel where like all these big bands go and play uh, in this office, and they just play their like a mini set, and most of it is like acoustic. Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty dope. Like a yeah. lot of hip hop artists and stuff go on there. Really? And they actually bring like a yeah musicians, a, a musicians, like, and stuff. Uh, so it's really awesome. Like you actually see their talent on there. Right. So I, so, Dave said he wants to get on that. So we told him like, I don't think Brain Fragment will be, <laughs> will be like I don't think they're gonna want that kind of music there yeah so i'm so like the only way you could probably try to get on that is maybe doing like an acoustic style of it so he's like all right so i told him like we should just do the ep and acoustic and record it and see what happens so i think that's our next thing that we're gonna do real quick nice we also want to do this thing called a noise orchestra where we're getting the complete opposite of the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> sounds like it <laughs> where it's the us spring fragment with rob and the keys and then we want to get uh Aaron from Present, she's a saxophone player. I don't know if you know Present. Mm-mm. They're from LA too. They're they're like a like a weird uh, avant garde ish kind of band. Cool jazz. Cool. Like it's weird. We were we were pretty big influenced by them too. Nice. Um, they uh, Aaron and then uh, Chad, the guitar player that you saw, he's mm-hmm. from Squirrel Spam. Him and then we have uh my friend, our friend Sophie. He's from the he's from um. What is it called? Hell Farm. He does noise like all the fuck. Heard of Hell Farm? Yeah. yeah. He does all the you know pedal. Yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's gonna jump on that, and then um, we can have another guitar player doing some uh, uh, melody. I don't know whatever the fuck he wants, and then uh, I think <laughs> yeah, whatever he wants to do. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, there's this band called the Hodge. You know the Hodge? Uh uh-uh. uh They used to be in this band called Klepto back in the day. It's crazy because those fools come from like uh, someone from the like Middle East. Yeah. And they said that when they graduate from high school, you got two choices. Join a band, come to America and join a band, or move to like another country that's around there and just go to college and try to get like a degree in something. Weird, really? Yeah, dude. So they fucking came. They didn't go to America. They actually went to Canada. <laughs> they went to Canada and they started a band called Klepto. And wow. Uh, they started playing and then they moved over here to LA. Klepto split up and then they pretty much 
him and his brother, because they're brothers, they mm-hmm. started the Hodge, and um, they own, I don't know, they own it or the corners of uh, Doll Hut. They have a reco- uh, rehearsal studio now. That one and right they, there, yeah. Yeah, that's, they pretty much, they run, don't run, run it, that. but they're co it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're going to play with us too. Uh, he plays accordion. Wow, the yeah. And then the guitar player, he, he has like a mandolin or something, or a flute. I think he has a flute. Very He's cool. That. So we're going to, we're going to get together and do this thing called noise prom and we just it's a noise orchestra where we're, everything's just going to be improv there's not going to be no wow it's just wow play. fascinating i'm so down to watch that yeah dude yeah that, should be cool. that sounds great so that's that's coming up but other than that it's just mainly just going and making new music yeah good yeah that's the main thing right now. Like, yeah 2019 man that's um, yeah it's gonna be crazy yeah what made you want to uh i know you said you listened a lot to uh punk growing up but like what was what were um what were like some of the main bands that made you go this is why i want to play drums like this is why i want to pursue drums Mm, it wasn't punk huh it's funny to say although punk was the easiest thing to do sure play um punk there's a lyric in one of the songs one of my favorite songs says punk rock is the easiest place to hide (laughs) fuck yeah Yeah. (laughs) no one will know who the fuck you are if you think you're punk as well yeah yeah yeah. you can be like the most sensitive motherfucker in the world right that's why i wear a mask (laughs) anyways um i my dad's a drummer my dad oh yeah he nice ever since i my whole life you know i've always been around music he plays like um cumbias and like you know that kind of stuff nice let's see come from a musical family yeah that's why it comes so naturally to you i think so yeah. damn fast no, okay. <laughs> no uh, it's that's funny like, uh, my my father's a drummer as well oh, no actually way. yeah he was in a rock Dude, band that's fucking cool in the la scene damn. yeah keeping it keeping the origins alive. yeah keeping the origins <laughs> alive his claim to fame was uh i guess play drums too right well yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That was see that was the weird part that like that came natural to me. I was yeah, because like, it's like in the family, I guess. I don't that's know. Tight. It's so weird. you never learned anything. You just went up there and played beat. And just... Yeah, well, funny enough, I always wanted to play guitar. I never even thought about drums, and my sister wanted to play drums, so she had a drum set. Oh, cool. Here, or, or not here, but at at the old house that we were at. Oh no, no, it was here. Never mind. Okay. And uh, and I was just I don't know. I just started playing on it because it was fun, and I was just kind of natural. <laughs> <laughs> at it so your sister never played it uh, well no she played it we actually were in a band uh okay. uh that never played live but we had our own band uh, where we we wrote some songs and we had some songs together and i only played bass actually it was like it was bass and drums Whoa, and cool. uh, yeah and we were called the plate tectonics because oh, nice. we move you <laughs> that was her idea i thought it was great yeah. yeah yeah that's pretty cool. yeah uh but then she kind of stopped she was kind of doing her own thing she likes kids so she wants to work with kids and stuff like that, oh, that makes sense, but um but yeah she was she was good she keep keep a good beat um but yeah i don't know i didn't i just kind of took it on and then uh it was fun but then luis was like came from he was in san francisco for 10 years i don't know if you know this he's actually my uncle yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah he was telling me a story he said he moved out here and yeah he, yeah, he came, used to live in san francisco he used to live in san francisco for 10 years came down here and we jammed, you know, we were like, let's fucking start a band. That's how Mango Napalm started, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how long has that been going on? Ten years this August. Shut the Ten fuck. years, man. Damn. Yeah. When I started being a delinquent in Mango Napalm and <laughs> partying more, for reals. I didn't start smoking weed until I was 23. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. So you were, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was a very, very mature little kid. <laughs> Uh, I also believed in the Lord. No way. Yeah, I was That's a really good weird. Catholic schoolboy. <laughs> what made you? St- what you still do? Or no, not at all. Not at all. Was it? Was there like a turning point that kind of? Or it was actually, it's, it's as ashamed as I am to say it. It was a damn woman. It was mm. a dang woman because I had that high school sweetheart, and I thought I was gonna marry her. Like this is it. We're we're gonna get married, uh, but we were only together for like a year and a half. And then uh, after high school, oh no, after she got out of high school, this is the saddest part. Like I was with her, she was a year younger than me. So I was with her for her whole senior year. And then when I went to her prom, I went to her prom and like, it just like, it just sucked. Like we were like, we were, I knew it was going to end around that time. It was already bad bad by then. And then, uh, and then we broke up and then I just like became a staunch atheist. I was like, fuck 
God, big, yeah. fuck everything. And I just like started studying about like the universe and like what everything means. Right. Uh, and I just like, I just devoted my life to like science and stuff like that. And then after a while, like just weird shit would happen in my life. And I'm like, I don't know anymore. I just don't know. It's just life is random. Life is fuck. random and life is weird. And yeah, who knows if there's a God or not. I'm kind of in the open right. space. I, that's funny because my my whole family not my whole family but they're Catholic you know yeah they're really yeah. religious my mom is well, they're really religious. so not just like the Catholics that are like they're like yeah we're Catholic but they never go to church no yeah, they act, they're mom, actually like pretty yeah my mom actually like she's one of those people that like gives the little ostia thing you know like the, the little oh yeah thing. yeah yeah of course yeah that's whatever the fuck no, that's me oh, okay no no worries uh whatever the fuck that's just called but you know uh, my mom. My, well, she's not my mom. It's my grandma. Oh, okay. My dad's mom. My mom passed away when I was one, so I never knew her. Oh, I never wow. Met her. Yeah. yeah. So I, my grandma. So your grandma's kind of like your mom. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so yeah. like, my it's it sucks to say, and I'm I just say this because it's truth. I just feel this way. My dad, I don't see my dad as my dad. I kind of feel like my dad's like my older brother. Oh wow. You know what I mean, it's just a feeling. I know he's my dad. It's just that. The way our our relationship, yeah, we, we never we hugged our whole lives. We only hugged like three times. And yeah, two of them were forced because my aunt kind of made me hug my dad. Yeah, because he was yeah, leaving yeah. to Mexico for like a month or something. Oh wow! And we didn't, even he he was kind of like awkward and stuff. But are I you mean, cool with him now? I mean, I've always been cool with him, but yeah. it's, it's just that we just I don't I never I'm, I'm an only child. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a half brother now, but. Throughout my life, right. I've always been an only child, so I don't know how it is to have sisters or brothers. Yeah. So, but by the way, I see other people and the way they, so you know, you know, I don't know if you have, oh, if you have brother. I, don't know, I have, have one sister. One sister. Yeah. Um, I know I have friends that you know, there's that love, but there's that like I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh yeah. You know, get away from me. You know? Sure. Yeah. So uh, I see that, and I kind of feel like. Me and my dad kind of have, have the same that. thing. I come in and I look at them and then I don't even say hi. I just come in there and then if you, if you want to talk about something, we just start talking about it. Yeah. But there's no parent, parent, per, I don't know, parent love. Or yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. Well, it's interesting, especially <clears throat> sounding like your grandmother raised you. Yeah. So I get more love from her, you know, because she's an well, old lady. Like, <laughs> and not only that, but and it sounds like she was still like raising your father and and you, yeah. So you yeah. guys were kind of like brothers. Exactly. So it actually does it does make a lot of sense. And then obviously my grandpa's there, so. Oh, and your grandpa's still yeah, around, still, okay? And dude, that motherfucker's ninety four years old, man. Shit. I don't know how he's still kicking. Can I ask what happened to your to your mother? Um, honestly, I don't know. I kind of have an idea. Well. They're vague about it because they don't really know either. But they pretty much said that she got cancer, kind of like leukemia, but it wasn't leukemia. Yeah, like it was all over her blood. Oh, uh, just like it was rest. like like a blood disease. I yeah, see. Like a blood disease. Mm, yeah, I'm so, sorry to hear. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people, and that's cool things. But a lot of people like. Uh, I mean, I was a kid. I never met her. No, so yeah, you were one. Have any emotion memories? I had a, I had a boss. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole he like his he lost both of his parents when he was like three or four or something like that and i'm like oh i'm so sorry to hear it's like no it's great like lose your parents when you're a kid you're not gonna like know about it you're not gonna feel sad like i didn't know him you bastard it's fucked up as that sounds uh it's just being truthful like no uh, yeah yeah a hey, comedy is uh truth oh i love it oh, yeah i love yeah, yeah, man. Me too. What do you what, what do you watch comedy wise? Hmm. Comedians um, or shows or movies or. I do. I do like a lot of comedians. I mean, I hear a lot of them. I mean, I mean, the OG for me was like George Lopez, obviously. You know, oh yeah. Back in the day, and I've then, seen George Lopez live. Yeah. Oh, I never seen him live. He uh, he, I was at the Ice House just seeing some random people, oh, and he, he showed up, up as a guest. And guess. he's dude. I wasn't. I wasn't really a fan of George Lopez. He was kind of what. He was there, but, you know, he, I'd hear him say some jokes, whatever. And then he came in, and he fucking tore the place apart. It was hilarious, It's, it's funny the because, shit he was saying. Because when you when you don't go to a live comedy show, and mm-hmm. you see comedy on there, it's easy to just judge yeah. him. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, he's not that funny. Yeah. But you can tell the difference from a good comedian and a, in a independent, or, like, coming up an amateur comedian. Yeah. Amateur comedians are hot, funny. But they just don't know how to yeah. blow it up. They don't know how to like 
you know, they don't know exactly. They're not professionals. Right. So. Yeah, they're not and pros. And Lopez has been in there forever, so he oh, knows yeah. he where knows he's it. at. He's yeah. like, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. the difference about... Oh, movie. totally. Totally. But yeah, other than that, like, I fucking love, like, uh, like all, like, the PG guys, like the Jerry Seinfeld and, like, Brian, uh, Brian Regan and all those guys. I like those guys because somehow they find a way to make, to make things funny without cussing sure so it's fucking hilarious fucking i do bill like hicks brian Regan. until until fucking bill hicks became all fucking yeah, yeah, yeah and then um i love bill hicks dude bill hicks the shit. yeah and then um then i started getting into like fucking uh lucy k lucy k makes me fucking yeah laugh, fucking motherfucker dude. yeah even though he did some fucking funny ass <laughs> shit <laughs> masturbating so, and shit yeah that's, that's the funniest part is that everyone knew that he was doing that but yeah i don't know who knows <laughs> and then uh you know, then one of my favorites is Tom Segura. Tom Segura. Do you listen to your mom's house? Dude, yeah. So, Fuck well, not, yeah. Not, not religiously, but oh, I, okay. I heard a few episodes. They're so good. Oh, my yeah. God. They're... I haven't seen him live yet, but I want to. I've Me seen either. Christina P. live. Oh, you have? Yeah. She's all right. Yeah. I don't know how I'm pretty sure she's probably... Oh, she's, she's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, lo- I love both of them. That's why yeah. I love that freaking podcast. And maybe, I mean, if we're talking about that circle, then comes Joe Rogan and fucking... Um, yeah. What's his name? Joey Diaz. Yeah, Joey Diaz's sure. funniest stories are fucking. I don't crazy. watch a lot of Joey Diaz. Who, there's another guy that's in their circle though, with uh, Joey Diaz and and uh, yeah, Lu- Luis actually got me into him. Luis, uh, okay. are you talking about uh, I can't think a, of, uh, Fari? I forgot his name. No, no, oh, Ari, Schaefer? Ari no, Schaefer. No, no, no. There's another guy. He kind of has like a. He kind of has like a like a buzz cut here. He kind of looks like a. He's like, like a why? Guy? Yeah, like a hillbilly oh, kind of. Who you talking about? Um, he's really um, funny. Um, something Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn's oh, really hilarious. funny. Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah. And like, he's funny on the podcast. It's like he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so weird. But he's funny. Like, and then I, I, I was kind of like, who is this guy? Like, whatever. And then Luis was like, no, you need to like watch his stand up. And I watched his stand up. I was like, good. oh, this guy's really funny. Yeah, he's hilarious. There's a big Jay Okerson. Um, have you oh, heard of him no he's good so. okay yeah, yeah watch big J okerson okay. he's kind of part of sort of part of that crew he's not not really but i guess he he knows him he's more i guess in new york oh okay and uh, he's hilarious did you ever watch the did you watch that dave attell and fucking um i forgot the other guy's name jim ross's Duck, uh, comedy stand up that did like a three day weekend in New York. No, it's actually uh, pretty cool. They, I'll called, check it. I love those guys. Pumping mics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that on Netflix? Yeah. I saw that. Okay, I'll watch that. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, dude. that looks great. I love it, dude. Uh, I, uh, no, I, I grew up. Insomniac was like oh, my fuck. shit back in the day. Like, I loved that show. That fucker would just drink beer. That fool's coked out, man. That's why he was up all night. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. I was I listened to a recent um, podcast with him. He was the guest, and like, dude, everybody has so much love for David Tell, and he like doesn't he like doesn't feel that he's just nonchalant about it at all. He's just like, yeah, I know you guys say that, but I don't really <laughs> like I don't really believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, David Tell is one of my favorites. Uh, what else? What about movies? Um, what are you What are you watching these days? Movies, man, it's so hard because do you so watch? Many- Oh, okay. This I was going to say, do you watch? Like movies as in like comedy movies or just movies in general? In general. Oh, man. Fuck. That's like a big ass. That's like, if we're going to talk about music or something. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm, I'm not much of a movie guy. I, I am, but I'm not. Yeah. Uh, Are you kind of like a casual viewer? Like, hey, yeah, that, that I've seen was a good. good amount, but yeah. you know, there's a lot of movies that I haven't seen. Sure. You know, it's kind of like a lot of movies that people, a lot of people have seen. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. But they're classics or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like but, you've I seen, mean, have you seen Godfather? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Godfather is Godfather's a, pretty, pretty good. It's shit, dude. Yeah. It's kind of like the Godfather of movies. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, God, I'm trying to think of, uh, did you see Into the Spider-Verse? I just saw that. That was the last movie I saw that Into I was the, like, Oh, with the Spider-Man? Spider-Man, yeah. Into the Spider-Man. Yeah. It was yeah. animation, right? Yeah, it was animation. It was really it was like fun. Black Spider-Man, you know? There's well, like there is a black Spider-Man. There's a black Spider-Man, and there's a black and white Spider-Man who's literally only in black and white. That's cool. Because it's like different. It was it like blew, it didn't blow my mind, but it just like it was just fun to have like different characters from different universes be a part of like one thing. It just it's great that we can like have a movie where that happens. Awesome. So yeah, I gotta re- see that. really getting awesome. into the whole spirit of comic books. Comic books are fucking weird. Oh yeah, you know, weird it, as shit. It, it, it's hard to get into comic books and you're not into them because there's so many different 
Oh yeah, versions of everything. Yeah. And... That's all I watch. That's all I read now. I I used to read. I used to love books. I was an English major. That's oh, nice. all I would fucking do is read books, and I can't read books now anymore because I, of the comic. <laughs> No, I I don't I don't know I, I think I just got burnt out on reading books. Oh wow! But know. now, but, but I love reading comic books. Like that's all I read now. Do you just read comic books, or you read manga too? Uh, manga, no. Just comic. No, just yeah, just comic it's, books. It's weird because I don't like comic books. Oh yeah. That's like, okay, no, I would never phrase that. <laughs> I don't like American animation. Oh, uh, okay. It's really, I don't know, man. Something about it just that doesn't, I don't know. It's Your style's more, isn't that like a Dragon Ball Z like kind yeah, of? Yeah, more yeah. the animation. Yeah. And, uh, anime stuff. and It's just because I like anime because the story gets deep and it gets pretty brutal sometimes. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I just like that. And, and like regular American animation. Sure. It's kind of like more PG-ish. Yeah. I mean? Which is I understand because it's for kids, but I've I've had this conversation with Ismail, and he yeah that's why he doesn't like about American, it's really like animation. It. Yeah, although I have seen some uh, like like the Killing Joke, like oh uh, yeah, like the Batman that was right. pretty brutal. A fucking uh, Joker killed Robin. And right. And shit. And no, was, yeah. Deep, I think just now for some reason, like yeah, America thought that you know well animation was for kids, especially because Disney kind of owned it. You know, it was kind of a product of like, oh, it's an animation movie. This must be Disney, and it, it was yeah. specifically for kids. And it wasn't until like later on where it was starting to, I think now they're starting to do a little more adult themes. Yeah, th- and in th- animation, I think they noticed that it it, it grows more than just. They can use child. it. Yeah, exactly. It's just another medium. You can use it for for anything. Because what comics came out in the fifties? I think the thirties. Thirties, right? Twenties, thirties. Yeah, something like I think that. came out thirties. Was super. And, and I think before that was just like little newspaper clippings or something. Do you read any Alan Moore stuff? Have you, have you seen Watchmen? No. No, I've been reading this Promethea book and it's fucking insane. Is it? It is insane, man. It's just it's it's just just look Can through just look through this and see how crazy it is. Um, but yeah, it's just. There's a lot of stuff. It's about this like woman who turns into this uh, goddess sort of, uh, and just <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, but it's it's insane. See, that sounds cool. See, like this is more like a animation kind of. Like... Yeah, it's very adult, very very adult. That's awesome. Um, but cool, man. Well, we're almost out of time. Damn, she went way fast. Yeah, one hour. <laughs> I know. Uh, any any last things to say? Um, well, I guess if you guys want to check out my band, <laughs> go, I guess it's plug Yeah, in. Brain Fragment. Uh, yeah, we can find you on Spotify, Spotify Facebook, Amazon, Amazon YouTube, yeah. Yeah. iTunes, Instagram, all that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Ch- just look up Brain Fragment and, uh, yeah, you can hear it anywhere they're real cool we'll probably be playing a show with them soon yeah and if you guys are looking for a band hit us up We're mostly down to play fuck yeah that's that's true you guys fucking play everywhere yeah. anytime any place yeah it's great all right well thanks luis thank you take it easy you too